Careful. Glenn Coldenhoff, first race of the year, ended on the, the last motor there, super final win. How are you feeling? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a nice day. I mean, uh, the weather was good. Uh, it didn't yeah. rain too much, so that was uh, very positive. And uh, yeah, the, the beginning of the day, I struggled a little bit, but uh, we made some good progress with the bike, and uh, I'm feeling quite, uh, yeah, more confident, in, especially in that last motor. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I could show my potential, and uh, it was, was really good. I felt a lot better, and um, yeah, happy with that. Uh, Super final win. Yeah, you looked a lot more aggressive that you were really going for it in that yeah. one. And obviously, did you make changes to the bike for that one, or was it just getting into race mode again? No, no it's difficult to say. <laughs> Definitely, the changes we did uh, helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm happy we made this, you know, because uh, also for next week, I think conditions are going to be more or less similar. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, okay, it's more hard pack, but uh, most likely will be muddy. Yeah. So. <laughs> It was a good practice. And going back to last season, probably not the season you really envisioned, although you had high spots as well as a couple of low spots. Yeah. This year, have you done much changes to the bike? Are you still searching for that setting that allows you to ride for a title and, and contend? Yeah. No, I've been testing uh, a lot last year, a lot. Okay. And um, like this uh, this winter season, you know, uh, I said, okay, I choose for this setup and um, maybe a little bit uh, we'll still test with the suspension like we did today. But uh, other than that, you know, I will raise the bike I have now and okay. I will go on with that all season. And um, I'm happy with the bike. The bike is good. It's uh, suiting my style more than the last year. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm happy. And do you feel the pressure? Of, it was a big signing for Yamaha, a big signing for you. Did that pressure ever enter your head? You seem always quite relaxed, but from how is it in internally for you to move teams and make all those changes? Yeah, it's, it's never easy. Um, you know, I always give my all. This is, you know, so I can never blame myself, you know. I worked so hard for this and especially also last winter, or last season was very, very tough for me. Uh, I expected to do a lot better than what yeah. I've shown. And um, yeah, mentally it's quite tough. But like you say, you know, we also had some good races. Uh, being on the podium, fighting with the top guys in Arco di Trento. Uh, my home GP in Oz was very good. So uh, I'll keep those positives yeah. in my mind. and. Um, work for this year and um, yeah like I say uh, this winter season the winter has been been great for me you know uh, I trained really well physically and uh, also on the bike um, got a bit, a bit sick and uh, got a few setbacks but other than that I had a really good winter and um, I'm happy where I'm at at the moment so that's good there wasn't a big off season and now it's back to the two death format a little bit difficult to keep your elite uh, star game going on all year is that something you're thinking about well not really i mean uh, the first year we did the one day format i quite liked it but then we also raced on the wednesdays which was <laughs> a bit too much i yeah. guess but uh no i in the end i still prefer to have the two days okay you know you can find a little bit setup of the bike because mm. every track is different and instead of you know going in full gas without even having yeah they have a free practice, you know, but nobody uses it as a free mm -hmm. practice. Everybody yeah. go, go <laughs> flat out. So, um, no, I'm happy with the two day and get 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 myself a bit more time, and I think it's good. The level of this MXGP series last year was unbelievable. Yeah. This year probably it's going to be very intense again. Starts obviously crucial. When you're sitting on the gate as a rider and you know there's eight guys that could maybe podium or win. Did you feel that pressure, like it's extra important to get to get the starts? And I'm sure you've been working on that this winter as well. Tim Geiser mentioned that he was working on yeah. it. So. Oh yeah, starts are really important. Uh, I mean, the most safe way to start a moto is to get a whole show. That's true. Everybody <laughs> thinks, uh, yeah. thinks the same. And um, if you start around fifth, sixth, uh, there's like a war, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's very intense and um, yeah, it's getting sketchy. The more you go back, yeah. the more sketchy it gets. So. Um, of course, we worked on the start, but uh, starts was not really an issue last year. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, we worked on it, and I feel good in the starts. Uh, also, the first moto, I pulled a big, big old shot, mm -hmm. so um, it is all right. Eli Tomax had very good starts on the Star Yamaha. Do you, sh Dylan Fernandez, not so much, but do you share any information with those guys? For here, is it too different? Uh, I think uh, within Yamaha. Uh, Yamaha yeah. Europe, Yamaha Japan, yeah. uh, obviously the Rinaldi crew, yeah. uh, which take care of the R&D, uh, they share a lot of information, okay. so this is, uh, this is really good. 
they know exactly what they use there. Um, they know exactly what we use here. So uh, there is definitely some, some working together. And finally, your team's very strong, Jeremy Sewer. Yeah. And now Maxime Renault, he's straight in at, at yeah. winning races. Yeah. Is that good for you? Because you're, I presume your practice sessions when you are all together is pretty intense. Yeah, it is. No, it's uh, it's great having having good teammates, you know. Because uh, okay, we had a very short winter time, but uh, we did some practice together, and I think uh, you need to have that, you know, on the practice day, that you can help uh, each other a little bit to push each other, and that's the only way you can get, uh, let's say, a race feeling if you mm-hmm. can train together with them, and um, yeah. So it's, it's a very strong team, uh, mm-hmm. Jeremy is doing good at the moment, uh, Maxime obviously also, he had yeah. very well to the 450, so um, I think uh, Jan Mark who is uh, pretty strong this year. Are you excited for Red Bud yet at the end of the yeah, year? Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Brilliant idea. Yeah, it's, uh, I had good memories there yeah. and I hope we can, can do that another time. Super, brilliant, all the best for the season. Yeah, you're welcome.